God, these are cool, man. Yeah. <laughs> you there waiting for the sustain to die off? Okay. Yeah, we're good. Okay, now we can start. <laughs> so we are we are here at moreguitars.com, and we are absolutely ecstatic about these new Grand Pacific guitars from Taylor. And they are, um, we have two of them here, if you have trouble counting. There are only two, no more than two. And this is the 517 Builder's Edition, and Edward is this holding. Is, yeah, this is a 317E. All right, so yes. this is a 300 series guitar. Uh, very, very awesome. Not quite as, I have to say, I like yours better. This thing kills it, man. Yeah. Like, I, I, um, like, I kind of fell out of love with Dreadnoughts for a long time, you know what I mean? Because mm -hmm. that's all I played coming up through the ranks, you know? <laughs> and then <clears throat> now I, you know, this slope shoulder thing, I've always, you know, when we used to be a Martin dealer, I loved the slope shoulder stuff. You yeah. know, we ordered a lot of them. And I was really pleased when Taylor decided to make this happen. Yeah, yeah. You know, and when they said Grand Pacific, I was thinking it's going to be like a little like a little parlor because they don't really have anything that comes up through the upper left, like the three, four, five, six. You know, they have the babies and the, and the, the mini, mini whatever, but it's not like <clears throat> you can't get a nine... 11 yeah. whatever the hell it would be a parlor you know in the higher level you know upper level so i i asked rich our rep i'm like is it going to be a parlor yeah He's like, mm, can't tell you no good. so then we went to that thing in chicago and this is what it was and i was like man this is bitching yeah so <clears throat> so tell us about yours ed well this is the 300 series, so it's got the Sitka spruce top and mahogany back and sides. Uh, the top is a high gloss, all right? And this just follows the, uh, the standard of the 300 series model guitars. Um, it is, it's a brand new body, you know, the Grand Pacific is really a guitar that I think is aimed at the guy who wants to be one of the louder guitars in the room. <laughs> it is loud I mean? as hell, man. Yeah. Andy Powers is a bluegrass guy. So, I mean, this is kind of the guitar of, of, of all the tailors. If you're going to take it to a bluegrass jam, you know, it's supposed to be able to hold its own. I mean, and it feels like it doesn't have any ceiling. You know what I mean? You yeah. Can, you can strum it till, like, it frets out. It opens up and, and it, opens up and... Yeah. And then the sustain you get with the V-Class, you know, Yeah, racing. I was going to say, that's the, that's the kicker. You man. know, yeah, this is something that, that's, you know, a passion project that has taken all the cool things that they've been doing and putting it into this new guitar. And for all the hype, you know, all the anticipation, it wasn't really yeah. hype, you know, because it's, yeah, it's, it's all backed it's up. Legit, it's for real, yeah. it's legit. Now we have them, and it's like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we just played two very crappy chords that together. Again, yeah. <laughs> There's our demo. So, uh, so I have the 517E. I didn't say E a while ago. Builder's edition. And what this is is, listen, listen. You don't hear it. It's a silent satin. Silent satin. So this is the wild honey burst. <laughs> Settle down now. <laughs> it's wild. So it, it. Uh, I don't know how I'm holding on to it. But anyway, so this is the builder's edition. So it is obviously. Mahogany back and sides. What is the top, Ed? It's torrified spruce, right? Uh, yeah, yeah. It is one of those. Uh, so it's you know, aged. It's aged. Along with the wild honey burst. You can't beat it. I think this one's a little less aggressive than that one. Hmm. Kind of. Give yours a good strum on an E there. It's got a little more aggression to it, you know what I mean? You're probably using one of those ridiculous heavy picks too, aren't you? It's a 88. That. That's not... I was just playing electric all morning, so I'm pushing the strings down. <laughs> They're just out of tune. Just so you know, we when we record these, it's through these mics, very good mics, <clears throat> through a flat EQ, 
into a really good preamp straight into your ear hole, okay? So it's, um, it's, there's no coloring, no nothing here. You're hearing what we're playing and you can compare the guitars. So um, the Builder's Edition, um, so what this, the, the age top is kind of the idea, the torification process is to make it feel like it's 15, 20 years older than it actually is. It kind of accelerates the aging process because a lot of people, especially and now that I sit here and talk about like, you know, slope shoulder dreadnoughts, you're thinking of the old Martins, mm -hmm. like even some Gibson stuff, mm -hmm. you know, that's in the 50s, 60s, 30s, whatever. And everybody wants that sound. So everybody started like drying their tops and, you know, whatever, torifying them. And so for this to be on a dreadnought, a slope shoulder dreadnought, and what do they call them? Round shoulder, Taylor does, not slope shoulder. Um, <clears throat> but they, it's really cool. I just, I just wanted to bring that up, like, just the idea that it's a, a round shoulder, you know, like an older school kind of guitar. It's cool that it's torfied. Yeah, and the fact that they put it in the builder's edition, which you know is a lot of really characterized by what they call a lot of player-centric features. Yeah, you know, like the rounded heel, the rounded rolled edges, the placement um, of that instead yeah. of show them on yours. Yeah. So show them the where the the the, the strap button is. <clears throat> so one of the builder's edition things, and you brought this up before we did this, and I remembered it from the the thing we went to. Um, they put this here so it's not in the way when you're wanting to maybe access some higher. Yeah. So if you if that was there, you're gonna be There's like bumping your mm -hmm. hanging up on there. So those little things, you know, Builder's Edition has its things. Yeah. But it's you know those things are a bigger deal than a lot of people think they are. You know, so to be able to kind of access that and it's you know you can really see. Hold that up, Ed, and we'll give Larry a chance to uh, pan about. But this is a rounded, it's a little more comfortable to get your hand against and it doesn't slow you down. So that's what, that's cool stuff, you know. So uh, I think most people are here to hear demos. So maybe we could do some different things on each guitar. Okay. And, uh, and let people hear it. Because you can read the specs, man. We'll have the specs on the website. Um, really no reason for us to regurgitate what the rosettes made out mm -hmm. of and all that you can you can look that up so why don't you just play some chords and then I'll play some stuff and then we'll we'll shut this baby down all right So I'm going to do always wanted to do that. <laughs> See, like the good guys do that, like the badasses. They do. They Tommy do. Emmanuel, <laughs> just bend the hell out of the neck. So, so that's, you know, and I'll do a little finger style here. So we've done a little bit of everything. We, I know you're, well, you do a little bit of finger style on that guitar. So if people are kind of like, oh, I wish you'd do it on the 317. Okay. 
to ten spot. You don't have to play so fast. <laughs> I mean, you sound awesome. I would sing along with that any day. I got the coffee chitters. <laughs> Ooh! Ooh, advanced. <laughs> I can do it too. So anyway, moreguitars.com. You can come see us in Evansville at More Music. Uh, mm -hmm. You can talk to the one and only Edward Sign. Or um, you can try to find me. I kind of hide in the back behind a bunch of boxes so I don't have to do anything. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> but anyway, so the Taylor 517E Builder's Edition and the 317E, and they are available at moreguitars.com. And... Uh, Added bonus whenever you grab guitars from us is we are the good guys. We're here to help you. We follow up with you. We even wish you a happy birthday if so if if it if it makes sense, you know. But uh, we're here for you. We're here to help you. We'll help you make a decision um, on what's right for you, whether it's an acoustic guitar, electric guitar, pedals, amps, anything to do with guitars. Uh, we recently added accessories to our website, and we'll help you with those too. Yeah. So. Um, for Ed, on behalf of Ed and uh, everybody here at moreguitars.com, we'd love for you to subscribe and uh, give us a chat, an email, or a call. Thanks a lot.